Hey y'all, it's Amanda with Tap Mom and the Bay Brigade. Hope everybody's having a good Tuesday. Hmm. Um, I've had kind of an up and down day. I got you know when I get <laughs> when I'm working on something I really want done. That's all I can see, crochet wise, and that's all I can see anything wise. Um, and this sweater is all I can see right now. And um, so I got I got it seamed up at the shoulders. I got both sides here. You know, I got my little puff stitches here at the shoulders like I wanted to do. See there? Yes. So, I don't know if y'all remember. <laughs> oh, and I just sent yarn flying. <laughs> it's one of those kind of days. <laughs> yes. Like the old R&B song. It's one of them days. I can't sing, so don't even... <laughs> I can't sing. <laughs> they will pay me not to sing. <laughs> That's how badly I can't sing. <laughs> anyway, y'all remember the sleeves, right? The thing that I was so excited to, to have done first. Why did I do that to myself? Why? Why did I do that to myself? <sighs> so today... This is my sarcastic smile because I'm mad at myself. Today I discovered the sleeves weren't big enough. They were done wrong. So, so wrong compared to what I did with the shoulders at the top of the sweater. So guess what I had to do? I had to frog back a bunch of the sleeve. I had to take the sleeve apart. I had to frog back a whole bunch. And then re-crochet a whole bunch more. Mm. Yeah. This is not my happy face. This is my sarcastic face. <laughs> and I'm just going to laugh through it because I've been really mad at myself today. And I called myself a name. <laughs> Dumb. You know what I mean? <laughs> Names that I will not use on my channel. <laughs> but this one is done okay because it matches what i've done to the top of the sweater okay and it needed to be a certain measurement okay now i laid the sweater on the bed earlier today to come across here and get my measuring tape my primitive measuring tape i see all i see all these um podcasters with um, this beautiful little cute little measuring tapes. I don't have those. <laughs> I think there's probably one that looks like a cat around here somewhere. I think it's over there in, in, in one of the whip carts over there that's across the room with clothes piled on it. <laughs> I think there probably is a little fancy one over there. But um, what the, what is the one that I actually use? This one. <laughs> that's the one I use. Anyway, so um, I'm laughing because that's still that's that, that's how I get through things is I laugh laugh my way through them because you know because it's not serious it's not that serious it's really not that serious you know did I fail at making the sleeves correctly the first time yes yes I did and I'm feeling a little bit of Shannon over it another yarn's pain right now because. She's making a sweater for her dear husband out of this gorgeous yarn that she got from Arcane Fiber Works. This yarn that I'm, I, I, every time she shows it, I drool. Because <laughs> I want some of that yarn so bad. It's called, get this, Rising Phoenix. Mm. Yes, those of you who've been with me a while know that should be my yarn. <laughs> I should have that yarn. But it's like $26 a hank. That's not feasible for me right now. But it should be my yarn. <laughs> but it's hand-dyed yarn. It's, it's, it's the fancy stuff, okay? But it should be my yarn. Rising Phoenix just should be my yarn. But that's okay. I'm gonna, it, I, I can go look at it online anytime I want. 
I, you know, and then I could see it worked up in a sweater on Shannon's channel and enjoy and, and enjoy seeing it. So I'm not dying or anything because I don't have it. Mm. No, maybe just a little. <laughs> but she worked up these sleeves and of course with hand dyed yarn, the way that things work up, it, it, like one sleeve would not match the other sleeve. And so her husband's like, no, you gotta do something about that. Because he wanted it to be more cohesive, you know, wanted it to match, you know, cl more closer. And so she's very skilled, her, her knitting skills are top notch. So good that she can actually do knitting tutorials. She did a knitting tutorial recently. I'm thinking about converting that knitting tutorial to one of my uh, small gauge looms and doing it. It just, it takes a long time on the small gauge looms. I have a hat over here that started on the small gauge looms, but it's being neglected because I'm working on this. Anyway, but anyway, um, but yes. So she knows a bit about the sleeve uh, conundrum because she's having to, um, she's got, what, three, three sleeves going for a, for a two, two arm sweater. <laughs> so she knows a little bit about my pain. Okay. But at least my, mine is a little, a, a bit of an easier fix than hers. Cause I just was able to frog out and then recalculate, um, inches, how, how many inches I needed. Um, I, I have a sweatshirt here, the same size as this hoodie needs to be. And so I laid the sweatshirt out and I did some measurements and I'm like, okay, they need to be 10 inches, you know, uh, uh, wide th this way. And, um, uh, and so I laid the sweatshirt out over, uh, the sweater out over the sweatshirt and said, okay, this is where I'm at. And so that's when I noticed my bobo mm -hmm. and that it wasn't going to match because when I did the, um, the shoulders here the back of the sweater is just half doubles okay that's that's how i did the back the back shoulder area here because i only wanted the the fancy stitches on the front and so i did the puff stitches on either side well my my brain said well we want the sleeves to match up with the top of the sweater okay so here's my here's my sleeve right well what i didn't think take in consideration is that i also needed to do the sleeve the top the top of the sleeve the same way as 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 i did the top of the sweater so therein lied the problem why i had to go and frog out what i had done because what i had done is just had the the variegated on both sides of the puff stitches without this this uh half uh half double part here so i had to frog out a whole bunch of rows of this and then um do eight rows of the half double and then rows of this to make up the amount of inches that i needed and then i wrote notes once i had had the formula and, and to, to get me to the right amount of inches, I wrote it all down so that I would know what I'm doing on the other one. And so I'm, I've got the other one frogged out and I've got the eight rows of half double. Now I'm down to the 13 rows of variegated that I have to go do. And then the sleeve will be done. So, and then I can, I can sew these together and then sew them onto the sweater. And then I get to do the pockets and the hood and um, all the trim work. <sighs> yeah. So that's what's been the major setback. Uh, I had hoped that today I would just sew the, sew the sleeves on and <sighs> by golly, I would be working on the, you know, the pockets and the, and the hood and, and voila, you know, we would have a sweater by the end of the week where you still might have a sweater by the end of the week. But, um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, anyway i think probably uh, well this is this might be my biggest uh design flaw so far 
that I've had to frog out so much and redo. Because I had ends tucked in everything. I had to pull ends out and, and, and yeah, I had to pull ends out because I had tucked all the ends out on both sleeves. And so I had to get, pull them out of their little tucked, and I think I even had to cut one, one, one out. Um, but, yeah. And then uh, I had so many little balls of this, of the variegated, that I just, uh, I had like three scrap balls, so I just balled it all up together. Instead of uh, getting into a new skein of it, I said I'm just gonna ball all the all the yarn, all the scrap balls into one, and do my 13 rolls with this, and I'll hide my knots cleverly like I always do, and uh, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It's gonna be under the arm anyway, and I'll hide the knots on the inside so that you can't see them on the outside, and so it'll be fine. But basically the the top of the sweater and the sleeves will match so that's that was the whole design in my head is i wanted the sleeves to be cohesive with the top of the sweater just like you would if you bought it in a store you know and then the cuffs and the bottom part will be done in this this color and the hood the hood and the neck area will be done in that color. Uh, now the pockets that uh, I'm going to do are uh, for the the area right here um, at where her arms rest. I'm going to do those in pink because I want those to kind of, you know, not not stand. They don't need to stand out. Um, so I'll just uh, make them kind of meld into the the sweater so they they don't they don't have to stand out. They just need to be there. So I'm hoping that my pocket idea works um, because I haven't done that before. And so that's that's another uncharted territory for me. It's mere, merely an idea in my head right now. So I'm hoping that that works out. Um, that's the next thing I tackle after I finish with these sleeves is the pockets. Um, so wish me luck on that. And I'm still debating on if I'm going to loom knit the pocket uh, the pocket, um, panels, you know, but, um, Eva did inform me that she does have a phone, that P Piper does have a phone, so, uh, I'm going to use my iPhone as a measurement and, uh, make a panel, uh, twice as big as my iPhone so that she has a room to put her phone in, because I don't know if she's right-handed or left-handed, it doesn't matter, both pockets will be the same size, but, um, yeah. I'll just make two matching uh, panels so that she can, you know, put both hands in her pockets if she wants to. And they'll be big enough to put her phone in. And, um, you know, be a kid. <laughs> but at least, hopefully, with all these notes, I'm, I'm, I'm going to probably go through these notes and rewrite, rewrite them in a more legible hand for myself so, so that when I go to make another one, that it'll be easier. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be easier next time. Uh, usually, because those hexy cardigans, uh, I can just, you know, I, I, don't, I don't have to look at a whole bunch of stuff except for, you know, how many rounds I did for which size, you know, for which size and that sort of thing. And, uh, you know, that, that's really all I look at as far as my notes back on uh, Hexy Cardigans. I've done a couple of dozen of those. So, um, I don't, I, I can bang one of those out in a week. So, uh, that's why those are so po popular in my house because I can bang them out pretty quickly. Now, pullovers, this is my first pullover. So, um, it's, you know, and then I'm adding a hood and pockets and things <laughs> so yeah it's it's it you know it's my first it's the first of its kind and I just want it to be right so and uh, after I had these next 13 rows but uh, I'm all caught up on Chicago PD now so uh, <laughs> the TV show Chicago PD I just caught up on that uh which is, is cool. I mean, I, I think I stopped. I think it was ser season nine that I was behind on. 
and but I had I watched more than that. I think I went back to season eight and started, and then I realized that I had seen more, you know, more of the episodes than I realized. And so when I was in there, I was like, I seen this one, seen this one, seen this one. And so then I just kind of, you know, zoomed forward and then figured out which ones I hadn't watched. And, um, and now I'm trying to decide if I want to go and do that with Chicago Med and Chicago Fire. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I, I, I started watching Chicago PD first. I think they had, I think they had Chicago PD first before they had Chicago Med and Chicago Fire. I think they had the, I don't know. Maybe they had the Chicago Fire first. Now, they might have had the fire first. I, I, if, if you're a fan of those shows, let me know. But I, I can't remember which one they had first. I think they might have had Chicago Fire first. And then PD and then Med. I don't know. I'll have to Google it. <laughs> but, yeah. I like all those shows. But I think I'm going to stick with the PD. And I'm not, I'm, I don't think I'm going to go back and watch the other two. Because um, me being an empath and everything, even though I know it's fake... Sometimes I can get a little too emotionally involved in stuff that is fake it was, without even meaning to. I just, the next thing you know, I'm crying. And so I'm, I'm not going to go back and watch those. I get a little too attached. But the, when, they're, when they're chasing down and, and getting bad guys, I'm all about that. I'm good with that. But the sick people and the people's places on fire and stuff like that, that's hard for me. That's harder for me to, to watch. So I'm not I'm not gonna go back and watch that, <laughs> but I will go finish catching up on uh, Law and Order, and um, and then there's some other new shows that I want to check out, and there was some uh, they keep advertising some documentaries on Peacock that uh, look pretty interesting. So I'm probably gonna go check that out. But I'm gonna finish this sleeve tonight, mm. and I'm gonna get these sleeves on this sweater before I go to bed because uh, it's driving me. <laughs> <laughs> and y'all know when a project is driving you, you have to keep going. You have to get it done or it'll drive you crazy. And this is about to drive me crazy. So, um, yeah. So hopefully when I come talk to y'all tomorrow, I'll have um, at least the, at least the sleeves on it. And um, if not, the pockets too. But um, I got the sleeves to do, the pockets to do, the hood to do, and then all the trim work. So... But at least I have the design in my head. And the biggest design part will be done meaning the sleeves. And when the sleeves are on, then that, that, that'll be the hardest part. The hardest part will be done once I get the sleeves on and looking like I want them to look. That part is, you know, the hardest part because that's, you know, the majority of the sweater right there. So, um... But I've got to figure out how to do these pocket panels and get them pockets installed on the sides. That's kind of running, renting space in my head at the moment. Now that I got the the sleeves kind of figured out. But um, I'm gonna let y'all go because uh, I'm I'm not any good at this tonight. I don't have any catchy one-liners for you tonight. <laughs> I'm glad I was I was funny last night though. I was funny last night. Tonight I'm just kind of like running on, my brain's running on all cylinders and I don't have much creative things or money you know maybe I'm having a little I, I'm not tired not I mean not yet <laughs> I'm just uh my brain's all over the place my mind is all over the place and and uh until I get some progress done on this thing I'm not going to be able to settle my brain so uh, that's where I'm at yeah and I'll feel much better when this sweater is in Piper's hands and she's happy with it. So, uh, I'll feel much better then. And then I can move back to another project that's in Freezer. <laughs> uh, yeah, because when I get done with this one, um, I got the other one that I just started in the, in the thin cashmere yarn that I want to get back to. And another, another cardigan that I started a couple of months ago that I want to get back to and finish at some point um but yeah i got a couple of projects that i want to get back to once i finish this um mainly the one for the birthday giveaway winner i want to finish that that's 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 an easy one though that to me that's an easy one because 
it's a full stitch hexi cardi and that's that's an easy one for me so um i'm not stressed about that one at all i could yeah yeah i can do that one no problem at all i'll i'll be able to focus on that one and get it done and so uh no problem but uh, i love y'all and so does jesus and of course please remember to adopt don't shop your best friend could be waiting on you at the shelter or the rescue and i will see y'all tomorrow <laughs> bye